Oregon Tech's president, Chris Maples, says between the new geothermal plant and existing solar panels, the university will have power for the entire campus. All of it. That's, that's the purpose of this, is we generate all of our power um, and manufacture a little bit more and put on the grid periodically, but not off the grid, and that's the important part of this. Maple says the campus will stay on the power grid and will still need to use regular energy occasionally. Even though we have 7,800 solar panels out there, um, if the sun's not out, they're not working that well. Maple says the time and work put into the new energy for the university is well worth it. He says Oregon Tech had the nation's first renewable energy degree, and now it's also the nation's first university to have renewable energy sources powering the campus on campus. I think being a part of this, putting the power on the grid the way we're doing it with renewable energy it is very much of us walking the walk at Oregon Tech. Maple says the university received support for the projects from every level of government. He also says the university got extra support because the power created and stored will also be used to help the community. Between the two of them, we will be energy self-sufficient and occasionally putting renewable energy on the grid for uh, Pacific Power to donate to low-income families as well. Maple says the university is not done. It will continue to look at its needs and add to its current energy programs when those are available. Covering your news, Aaron Nilsson, News 10. It was just exciting to have them spin over and, and 